Hello everyone. So finally a big big hike starts now. Today is uh, 7th of September. The time is 7 a.m. and we are starting from this beautiful village of Mato. And I'm with Omkar. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> this is this is our first hike together. Long, mm. long hike. We are all packed. I'm having a 30 liter backpack. Omkar is having 40. A, a 40 liter backpack. Yeah. So we'll camp every night and we'll we'll enjoy the wilderness all by ourselves. And most probably we'll get no network, which is which is great. Wow, what a beautiful path to to walk on. We're getting into the valley. You also see the beautiful Mato Gumpa on a west facing slope. So guys, we have done some 3 kilometers in the last uh, 50 minutes. Time is 7.41 am. We have come across the first uh, shepherd shelter. This I feel is either a kitchen because you see so much of oil there. Everything is black. Or maybe for animals. But uh, that would be the place where he would sleep and the river stream is right there, so lots of water nice. and a nice, nice campsite. Put it up on the map as stone shelter. We have uh, wood to make a campfire, pretty, pretty dry wood. This would burn so well. Some very distinguishedly red slopes. And we have some big glacier covered with clouds. Excited to get closer. You see a big, big camp on the left bank. There's a cairn. <laughs> That's our contribution. <laughs> now a nice trail to follow. There's so many of them. I think it's uh, still a flower that needs yeah. to this need to come out. But yeah, not sure. Not sure. This could be spicy. <laughs> Looking at the color of it, yeah. and there's so many tree see that's that's the next one yes. wow Time to take off the layers as you warm up. <laughs> we use clothing to regulate our body temperature so if it gets warm you remove them and if it gets cold you put them up. Now you can see the hooves of the horse. It means that uh, this is where they cross the stream from. Looks uh, pretty easy. Flow is gentle. Woohoo! Full cold water. Nice. Yeah. Wow. Therapy for the feet at 4,000 meters. Yoo-hoo! And we are through. So after every stream crossing, I would clean my feet, especially the section which is in between the fingers because there will be tiny sand particles or tiny gravel which is there and it can give you blisters. So take extra two minutes but clean your feet nicely, especially when you are on longer hikes <coughs> because you cannot afford a blister. And then it is for the very first time Thanks to Shubham that I'm able to use uh, toe socks 
दिस इज अगेन टू फर्दर रिड्यूस योर चांसेस ऑफ गेटिंग ब्लिस्टर्स बिकॉज दे इज पीस ऑफ फैब्रिक इन बिटवीन ऑल योर टोज एंड दिस लॉट ऑफ इंडिपेंडेंस वेन इट कम्स टू वेन इट कम्स टू द टोज टेक्स एक्स्ट्रा थर्टी सेकेंड्स बट आई थिंक इट्स इट्स वर्थ इट वॉट अ ब्यूटिफुल पाथ टू फॉलो Karen again, and the stream crossings are also pretty easy, so nothing much to worry. It's good that there are no thorns. completed wow temple wow so many flags now oh. survey of india has a name for this place it's called it's called rongchen and there are so many horns here so many of them i've never seen these many horns at one place wow it's very nice i'll not miss it out you can see the flags from a distance We're sticking to the trail, and we see the glacier for the very first time. Amazing! In the last three hours, we have done some 8.5 kilometers, and we have climbed some 450 meters. And when you're on this hike, just keep looking around. the The whole landscape is pretty amazing. Now we're back with more volume. Will also be heavier. It might uh, slow you down. But just day one, we'll take it nice and easy. It's a snack. Chana, chana. We'll take a quick five-minute break and we'll just keep moving. We are stopping every two minutes because this this landscape is unearthly, extremely beautiful. That's our trail, nice and easy. Now you also get the very first glimpse of the 5,900 meter peak, Matho Kangri, rocky structure. This is for the animals, and you have a. wired roof so that no carnivore can attack wow see very nice
We have come across a campsite after 12 kilometers. Bonfire, plastic waste. Lots of trash around, right? Yeah. I trash, trash, trash. But much of trash to be around here. Yeah. Pretty good campsite, but again, pretty sad that there's so much of uh, plastic all around. Yuck, who just died very recently. Oh, super sad. Oh, the eyes are gone. And see, this is how neatly a carnivore would, you know, eat up the carcass. Yeah. There's nothing left. It's just skin. So either uh, they would have entered from this side or at times uh, what carnivores also do is that they'll uh, eat up the animal and then twist it and turn it around so that the exposed surface stays uh, close to the ground so that other uh, animals in the food chain like foxes and bulls cannot cannot eat the eat the meat yeah this is nice and raw Woo! <laughs> it's scary to be honest. This is the first time I'm seeing a dead animal in front of me. <laughs> and, yeah. yeah, but that's the cycle of life. Yeah. I hope we do not find such animals more <laughs> on the trip. But but it's not in our control. Yeah, true. Such a big landscape and the food chain need to need to sustain. We can carry some in our hands and keep eating it while while we are moving forward. And now, guys, six hours, forty-five minutes. I guess we are at our first pass, known as Shangla, at. Uh, close to 5000 meters it is at 4940 meters Uh, just to show you the scale, let me zoom in and show you <coughs> where's my go tracker. Keep looking at the center of the screen. Yep, that's where he is. That's that's pretty far away. So I'll just get down and. Uh, Just walk slow maybe so that uh, Omkar could catch up. And this is the thing I see, I get a lot of messages where people would love to join me. But uh, the thing is that since I do this full time now, I think my speed has uh, improved a lot over the last couple of years. And then uh, I think I know well how to optimize the weight that I carry on my shoulders. and. Uh, Hence, I'm able to do all these distances with so much more ease while documenting these experiences. Joining me seems fun, but <laughs> I, I think it, it's not going to be easy. Yeah, I also carry cheese slices with me and uh, I eat them, eat them directly. I, I actually love them. You know, uh, 
waiting for uh, Omkar. It has been 7 hours 16 minutes. Time is 2 8 pm. I waited at the bus already for 20 minutes. But yeah, this is this is a much better place. So Omkar is back. He took a apple break at the pass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but the heavy backpack is definitely slowing him down. Yeah. Need to invest in lightweight gears, people. Yeah. yeah. Amp of ease. Yeah. Day one done with pass number one. <laughs> so, super easy. You're walking. I mean, I am walking at a very comfortable pace. Yeah. Not pushing myself ahead. Yeah. And I believe me when I say that, I am not a fitness freak or an endurance athlete. <laughs> I am just a normal human being. And it has been fun till now. Yeah. Very easy pace. Yeah. So speed hiking, my speed is not the cause. It is the effect. We go fast because uh, our navigation is sorted, the weather is helping us out, we try to optimize the weight of our gear and nicely pass through the landscape. And this is I feel a okay pace like approximately a little more than 2 km per hour. That's where the shepherd is. The caretaker of the sheep. Let's go. We are about to reach uh, Shang Fu now. Quite a prominent campsite with some uh, brick and mortar structure. So I think that would be a nice uh, place for shepherds to camp for longer duration. Hello! Hello! <laughs> yellow, yellow eyes, you have yellow eyes. Huh? You have yellow eyes. बहुत सुंदर जगह है हमारे बहुत सुंदर है ठंडा है ना ठंडा ठंडा तो है उज 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 यो उज 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 नाइस अच्छा आपका नाम जुन्नेश जुम जुन्नेश जुन्नेश ओ और चार महीना हो गया आपको हाँ मेरे को चार महीना आज क्या है तारीख आज सात। चार महीने से भी नहीं हुए। चलो बहुत अच्छा। सुंदर जगह है लेकिन ठंड ज़्यादा है। ठंड ज़्यादा है ना। हाँ। अभी ज़्यादा लोग बकरी नहीं चराते हैं। नहीं रखते हैं। नहीं रखता है। हमको पूरा रास्ता में भी कोई नहीं मिला। पुराना पुराना ये घर मिला, लेकिन आदमी लोग नहीं मिला। जुले। � <laughs> so that's the valley where Shang La was. Came to this valley. This is Shang Fu, and Mr. Romkar is little, little tired now. <laughs> After twenty kilometers, but I, I genuinely think that we can just do one more pass. Clock is running. We are still some 2.5 kilometers away from the pass. We can see some yaks grazing pretty close to the to the peak now. Yeah, that's our approach to the next valley. That saddle, but the pass is still uh, far away.
नींद आ रही है ये सब मत डालना क्यों ऐसे थोड़ी होता है ये भी नींद आ रही है यार मैं तो यहीं सो जाऊंगा बिना खाए चलो 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 अभी रुकना नहीं है इज अ क्विक के सर दर्द होगा है ना इज अ क्विक डिसेंट नहीं नहीं आई थिंक वी विल गेट डाउन विल गेट डाउन टू 41 चलो सम गुड नंबर ऑफ पीक्स विजिबल फ्रॉम द सैडल इट्स द एलिवेशन गेन दैट यू नो इम्पैक्ट्स आर बॉडी मोर एंड यू फील वीक बिकॉज the body is not able to produce glycogen so keep eating on on time and right now we don't have an option to camp here because we are at almost at 4700 so even though you feel weak take a break eat something and then uh, no worries we can do the descent in the dark It should be manageable but we'll have a nice and sound sleep at 4100 meters gumchola here we come dam yu hu 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 rak tum 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 the last climb for the day Woohoo! We were there in the morning, Shangla. Woo! <laughs> Shangla was also way too far <laughs> from the starting point, no? <laughs> from the Matho village. <laughs> yeah. Woohoo! Not afternoon, not morning. Nicely done. So, how tired do you feel on a scale of one to ten? Ten is that you cannot move. One is like. very minimal you have some sensation uh mostly about 5 around 6 around 6 yeah nahi no, yeah, i was very comfortable up till the shangla shangfu shangfu yeah and after that this pass um it drained every bit of energy out of me uh but but still feeling good uh, just that i'm a little sleepy uh huh and you're keeping me awake <laughs> <laughs> Cool. Yeah, I think once we are done with the ascent, it should be okay. Yeah, almost there. So we were there in the morning. That's that's Shangla. Woo! Oh wow! Yeah, it's extremely, extremely pretty. Yeah, but Omkar is not feeling that great. So we'll quickly make our descent. Once he'll get down from forty-six hundred meters to forty-one hundred meters, I hope he'll he'll feel much, much better. But Ha huh, this is this is extremely pretty guys a single trail to follow oh man i i wish to do a long trail run on this this whole section next year this is a beautiful ridge line and this one will take us to chokdo or our campsite for today At forty one hundred meters, woo, made it. <laughs> Little out of energy, but nicely done. Not easy. No flags here, but yeah, this is this is this is the pass. So let's quickly talk about stats, guys. It has been almost almost twelve hours. The time is six forty p.m. We have done some twenty four kilometers, some nineteen hundred meter of elevation gain, and now I think we'll drop down some. 600 meters go to a much warmer campsite and camp yeah and i think we could have made it all the way to chokdo today itself but uh, looking at the eco trekker self i think it's always better to take it nice and easy no need to rush but yeah good day all this beautiful blue will just go away in a couple of minutes <laughs> super lucky with the 
weather. Wow. Getting down nice and slow. <laughs> Planning to go to Chogdo. <laughs> <laughs> Extending the hike. Let's see, let's see how it goes. Beautiful descent. The torches have come out. We can see the stars glittering in the sky. 7.52 p.m. almost 13 hours. We have done some 28k. We are still walking. Because the shepherd camp on the designated campsite was not clean. So I think we'll have to push till Chokdo. And it's a very, very beautiful night sky. No light pollution, so you can see the Milky Way. 8.15 p.m. we have made it to Chokdo. We can see those street lamps. Yeah, so as we are finally done at 8.20 p.m. it was a 13 and a half hour hike. Almost 30 kilometers and some 1900 meter of gain. Yeah, time to end the activity. Oh, yeah! Super crazy. <laughs> One of the biggest hikes I've ever done. Yeah, and we can see the lights of Chokdo. But we would love to camp. Woohoo! Prepare our own meals, pitch our tent, and have a good night's sleep. <laughs> yeah. Woo! So our tent is pitched, guys. This is a single tarp sheet for two individuals. This is a luncheon 2 by 3 fuel. I think it will be nice if we'll show it to you in the morning. <laughs> okay, so this is we have for dinner. We have masala oats. We'll also crush some paneer and put into it. We also mm. have an apple mm. and we'll use butane mm. and we have a utensil to do the same. Now, there's this burner that I'm using since so many years now. I don't even remember. Mm -hmm. Probably some three, four years. We are close to 4,000 meters. Now, we filled the water during night time. So, I wasn't very sure about the quality of the water. So, I started using this filter bottle from Decathlon. Works pretty well. Be very careful <coughs> when you're doing all this. Yeah. You know, don't don't leave it unattended. <laughs> can smell it. You want it soupy or uh, non soupy? Mm -hmm. Non soupy Any is easy to eat. Anything will work. Okay. Right now, I just need food, <laughs> nothing else. You put apples or not, doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, so, day one comes to an end, guys, at 9 40. PM, yeah. getting into our sleeping bag. Maybe can I sit here? Shalom. Good night. Shabak khair. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Yo. Devan was amazing, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Devan was a uh, big day. <laughs> long, long day. This is the longest hike that uh, Om has ever done. Yeah. Yeah. We'll talk tomorrow. How does he feel? Yeah. Signing off. Good night. Good night, people. Good night. Good night. Jule bolo acho. Jule. 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 <laughs> <laughs>